year, we we refused to read the memo. Mm. What that memo we, say? We, what that memo we, say? We, if if we <laughs> would just open up the memo or click on the email and read, it would say, uh, "We don't give a damn about y'all <laughs> unless, it, un, unless it serves our interests." Mm. As That's a, right. as a matter now. of fact, uh, black people, mm. we have one coin. Mm. And when you flip it on one side, it says Republican. Mm. And you flip it again on the other side, it says Democrat. Mm. Go ahead but, now. But black folks, what you don't understand is both sides of the coin serves us, serves the, the power base in the country. So it doesn't matter what side of the coin it lands on. It's not going to be in your interest. You may lend your self to it, your vote to it, your service to it, your contributions to it. But when when it's all said and done, it will not serve the interest uh, of, of uplifting you and your people. It will serve the interest of further lifting the society, the system that is oppressing you right now. But it will give you the image or the feeling that you have been a part of something. Mm. And in 2024, right. mm. if you look at how the winds are blowing, we should be getting ready for a very serious storm on our community mm. because either way it goes, it's not going to be pretty. If, if In terms of the election, in terms of uh, policy that will come out of a Trump administration, mm. it is not going to be pretty for us as a people, so, uh, a few people may think it will serve them because they see a few items on their agenda that get serviced, or you may cast a vote in opposition to the Democratic Party, or if you vote uh, for B- B- Biden and the Democrats. Unfortunately, right. it's, I'm sad to say, or I gotta say, it has never served our interests, even when the Democrats had both both houses of the uh, Congress and the presidency. So we have to ask the question, if that has happened, why haven't we gotten at least one thing that we had on our agenda that was specific to our agenda? Most stuff on our agenda is uh, something that will benefit everybody. The few things that are on our agenda that specifically benefit black folk, they, they always find a way to get around it. So 2024, in my opinion, it's going to be a very pivotal year for black folks and and right. for the entire planet because of this thing that's going on in the Middle East. If it explodes, uh, you know, we're going to, we got a lot. And, and I might add, in terms of uh, what we see going on abroad and, and, and the weather, uh, that would be another big issue uh, uh, for our conversation in terms of the news. But we're starting to see earthquakes over in the far, uh, Mm. over, I think it was in Japan. But there was some some rattling along the coast. Several, today, several earthquakes along the coast, the east coast. So when you start seeing signs like that, uh, you know, we better brace ourselves because we were kind of late getting to the, getting into the game that, or not the game, getting into what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was presenting to us is to get some land and do something for ourselves, to ask for separation, which for some reason we don't even want to have a conversation about. Yeah, yeah.